I want to take some time to speak about the Rabbit R1. This is an AI assistant that you can have in your pocket. It's a real physical product. It has been announced some month ago, and it's, I think, the future of AI, of human tools. I made a quick list to, in order to not forget about anything, but it is a, a unique proposition. Because it's a, a device, a physical device, designed by Teenage Engineering, so it's a very, very cool object to have in your hand. And it can do so, ma so many things, because it has a large action model. You may have heard of large language model, so you can speak to the AI and it can learn, adapt and give you a text answer. But a large action model will, on top of that, be able to act, to do some things for you. And this is particularly important because you want it to replace the interface you have on your phone. At the moment, and I've watched the keynote, that's why I'm so excited. That's a keynote and the update. He demoed some really nice things. The device can already do search, that's common, but it can take a picture and search in it, what's, uh, what's in it, so it can uh, recognize people, recognize art, and maybe text. It can generate image on mid-journey, and you, you ask it, get you the answer on the device, and then you can see on your computer, so it's all synced up. You can also control Spotify music. Those are really simple things. But what's really interesting for me is the not taking on the go. So you can dictate, dictate, you can also voice record and it does an AI transcript and yeah, it's, it does a summary in the AI. You can also do live translation. It already exists on your phone, but it's very, very useful if you are in a new country and you don't have, you maybe lost your phone or just you are in the streets and you want to, to talk to someone. And on the top, you can order food and order Uber ride share. Okay, those are for the moment, limited things, but there are some things that will arrive in the future and that I really believe in. Those are navigation, so you have a map, and reservations for ticketing, autos, and all. Why I'm so stoked by this? It's because I really, really want to be able to ditch my phone for some parts of my day. For instance, when I'm running, or when I'm going to the grocery store, or when I'm working. I really, really want a device that's getting me in focus, that's answering my answers without giving me the ability to view social networks or do much more things because I can. I want also a device that can do things automatically for me. I don't want to do everything myself, and I think this is it. What I think is cool about this, it's only 200 euros. You can add your SIM card, but it it supports Wi-Fi by default, and you can add your SIM card with your plan to use 4G. Why did this work and not the AI pin from Humane? It's because they are charging the right amount of money. They are not charging you a subscription, because this is really tough to, to swallow. 24 bucks a month plus $800 uh, initial price. And they are also working and building with the community, they are very transparent. When things are slow, when things should be better, they are seeing it. They are not hiding it from the users. Very cool things that were announced. An interface that is rabbit hole, where you can see all the history that things you've done. For instance, um, you can download here the voice recordings you, you did. You can also use it to just know whatever you, you did in your day. They added a keyboard, so you can type and it goes silent because when you are typing that's maybe because you cannot speak so it shouldn't speak back and the voice when it speaks has been tuned by 11 labs and they made and they tied really strong partnerships with very good people that are masters in their fields for instance, uh, Teenage Engineering did the design. They are the best, I think, in my opinion, lab actor at the moment. They made so many very cool things, and I really love what they do. It's very expensive, but it is perfect in design and functionality. And they also tied new partnerships, for instance, with Entropic, Perplexity, and OpenAI, which is the way things should work. It should be a partner 
a partnership to make the AI go faster instead of uh, trying to do everything yourself. You can just use the work others have done. So yeah, that's my take on the Arabit R1. I may buy it. The thing that is giving me some difficulties at the moment is that it's 200 euros. It's not a lot, but it's some money. And also, I don't know if there are customs taxes and all, because i about to watch someone for go coming from really, really far away, and I paid a lot of taxes, and I don't want it to happen again. So I may wait for a standard front delivery if it uh, arrives. Um, it really feels like the remarkable when it was great. It's not very great uh, at the moment because they stopped innovating as fast as they were and they stopped being community focused and I think they are maximizing the price return, uh, return on investment for their investors. Yeah, it really feels like the remarkable adventure when I, I was part of it. Uh, each month are new updates, they listen to the community, they do really interesting stuff and they do, do them great, just the way should, things should work. I wish you a good day. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed.